Antonio Brown is not on the football field. I mean, he's injured, but like, you know, he's suspended three games. And so are three, like some other players. How do you, how are you feeling about that? Like, you know, and seeing it all like come into like reality now? Honestly, I was surprised that the NFL even conducted an investigation after the story broke out about the fake vaccination cards. It kind of took a little bit for them to kind of follow up. I wasn't really thinking that they were going to call me or even reach out. And so uh, they, they, the NFL like got like they got on the phone with you. They What's did. What's that like? That's got to be trippy. They uh, they called me the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and they yeah. pretty much just wanted the basics. They wanted to know how I knew AB. They wanted to know if I saw anything. They wanted to know if I saw any money transactions between him and other players. They uh, wanted to know if there was other players that I saw that did get the vax. And they were just trying to cover their bases, to be honest. And um, I just gave them all the information that I knew that I saw while I was at the house. I did mention that I saw Alex Guerrero take a photo of AB's card. The, but you uh, knew that card was... That, that that was the card that yeah that was fake. I knew the I knew the card was fake already because he had already mentioned to me that he had gotten it he purchased it and then that's when he made the call to come take a picture submit it to the Bucks and then that was it then he didn't have to worry about it anymore it's probably somewhere in the range of like maybe like three hundred fifty thousand dollars or something like big like that yeah he is losing and, out on a lot of money yeah he's losing out on a lot of money if he had paid you the ten grand that you owed him you know like. That, that, that he owed you for your services, he, maybe this would have all been avoided? It possibly could have been avoided. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, we were pretty close. We were, we were considered him, I considered him a friend. He probably considered me a friend at the end of the day because we worked so close together. I, w you know, I lived with him for the first month when I did move to Tampa. I was here with him in LA for a long time. And if he had just probably paid me, you know what, he probably would still be getting paid in the NFL right now. He'd probably be playing the games that he could be playing and none of this would have even happened. I'm just glad that the NFL had conducted their investigation and kind of cleared my name, proves that I wasn't lying to anybody. A lot of people were out there saying that I was lying about this. Yeah. Um, but the game plan now is to file a lawsuit and take yeah. it from there um, and then just move forward and see where that goes. And, and once you're made whole on the actual debt, it's not like you're, like you said, you're not out to like, you know, get more than you came yeah, for. Yeah, that's it, you know, yeah. just, People, people uh, provide a service. You got to pay for it. That's it. Did the Bucks actually reach out to you? Because they seem to like fast track this whole thing in his favor. Oh no, not at all. When the Bucks were made aware of it, they just swept it under the rug. They said like, there's nothing to see here. They said I was incredible, from what they had said to other reporters on Fox and ESPN. So they didn't call. They didn't do anything. They wow. didn't. They acted like, don't talk about it. Like Coach Bruce Arians said. There's no story here. It seems like he's just out to get money. Well, it's funny now that the NFL has made their decision that Bruce Arians, like, his future is up in the air. It's like yeah, a, it's uh, funny how the table can turn and, like, one in a week, his, uh, his, uh, everything changed.